Hey Neo Babes. So today I'm gonna be doing I'm not really sure. This is gonna be like a freestyle. And I'm gonna be using the red iguana hand. And so now I'm just gonna put in a little sanding band. I'm gonna leave it long because these nails are long. I'm just gonna file away a little bit. So the acrylic sticks a little better. It's gonna be my first time just talking through the video instead of doing a voiceover. I just wanna see if I like it better, if it's easier. So I'm gonna just talk through. Just five by five. I'm using, I think these are six XL, six XL full cover nail tips. I didn't have all of my sizes from Jule, so I mix them up. I use some six XL tips that I found off Amazon for like two of these fingers and the other two is from Chile. All I did to these tips are I cut the I cut the little number off because I wanted these to be full length. I'm not gonna cut these are very very long I'm bending her little fingers up okay good enough I'm gonna dust her off. Okay, now we're ready to get started. I'm gonna start with her middle finger. And on this finger, I think I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do an ombre. Put a little glitter, little glitter ombre. Ooh, I think this color is so pretty. I'm gonna add a little more to the bottom.
try to keep everything within my side walls so I don't ruin my shape. Ooh. Little glitter trying to get away. I'm whispering because my boyfriend's sleeping. He is sleeping. Gotta go to work later. Okay, now, let me see. Yeah, I think I can use this. This is rice paper from Dynamic Nail Supply. I just want to see what this looks like. If I do a little ombre. Oops. Ooh, it gives it a different little look. So I'm gonna keep using this one. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna let, let me do that. Another little bead. This is just nail practice for me, so I'm just trying to do a little cute design. I really like this rice paper color. It's not like a nude and it's not white either. It's like in between. Okay, she's cute. She is cute. gonna go to the next one and I think this pinky I want to be full cover glitter because I like sparkle so I'm gonna go in for full color I'm gonna go in for full cover glitter on the pinky Ooh.
Let me see if I can dry these beads off just a little bit. Let's see if it makes it easier to work with. I don't think that worked as good. No, that was a dud. Okay, I'm gonna stick with working with wet acrylic. Cause this chunky glitter is really, really, really chunky. So I don't think you can work dry with this one. I think you just gotta move it around. I'm playing with it and try not to lose too much. Yeah, just like that. I can add the little extras up here. Now I'm going to go back in and fix my shape. Move a couple of these around. Try to fill in the little gaps. So that it looks even and pretty. How's that looking? I think she's looking pretty cute. And then adding some of these little pieces to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to add a little more to the top. Let's see if I can bend this hand down a little bit. Okay, just like that. Try to keep most of my acrylic towards the top so that it fills all that in. And I think I'm gonna add a couple little more pieces to the bottom. Okay, maybe one more. I keep moving. Keeps moving. Okay, we well maybe one more right there. Okay, okay. Now I think it's just about finished. I'm gonna throw a couple more little ones up here towards the cuticle area so everything looks filled in. There's no little spaces. Okay, beautiful. I 
and cap it so it doesn't move. Okay, I'm not really sure what I want to do with the other side just yet, or the other two fingers. So I'm going to just go ahead and cap this the middle finger. And I'm going to get a really, really big bead. A really, really, really big bead. And I'm going to start from here and try to work my way down. I'm going to blend it up. Up, 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 And bring it in on the sides. While moving it downward. Now I'm going to go from here and I'm going to go up, 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 and bring it the rest of the way down. Now I'm going to go for the top, don't need much, just a little bit, right up here, pat, 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 bring it in on the sides, pat, pat, and bring it down. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more to the bottom. Right about here. Pat, pat. Bring it up, 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 and back down. Back up so I don't waste anything. And back down. Clean up my sides. And that is all for that finger. Just making sure I keep the shape while it dries. Now, of course, I'm gonna cap the pinky also. I need a little bit more monomer.
Then for this one, I'm gonna start about here. I'm gonna pat it up into the cuticle. Try to watch my sides. And start bringing it down. I might have moved a little bit too slow. But it's okay. Now I'm gonna start from here. Bring it up, watch the sides. And I'm gonna just bring it down. And we'll go in again. Here. Bring it up. And bring it down. I'm going to smooth everything out to see if I need any more. And I am going to add a little more at the top. It got a little lumpy real quick, but it's okay. I will fix it. And I'm going to still add a little more here again. Trying to focus this bead of acrylic right where the dent is. And then I'm going to bring it down at the bottom. Smooth it back up. Trying to get this little piece off. Just keep playing with me. Little piece ain't trying to come out. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. It's a little thick. But other than that, she's decent. She's decent. I don't want to make it too thick because this is a practice hand. Now for the ring and the index finger. 
I think I'm gonna do I have not yet used my little air spray gun so i think i'm gonna use this today and maybe i can do a little aura design i think that's how you pronounce it aura aura something like that so i'm gonna think i'm gonna do that on the ring and the index and i might even do a little frenchie too with that one yeah, I think I'll do that. So on the index finger, my little pointer finger. Yes, I vape. <laughs> Look on my pointer finger, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this over here. It's a little bit easier for me to reach it. I'm gonna just do a full cover. Of that rice paper. I really like how Dynamic Nails applies acrylics move, if that makes sense. I just like the texture or consistency of them. It's a really soft powder and it seems like all you have to do is like let it sit a little bit and then you're able to just mold and sculpt it and I really like that definitely beginner friendly very 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 easy to work with a plus to push it all the way up and swipe the middle and then I'll go around and work on the sides and then at the very top I just like to tap and push it up into the cuticle area it just makes it look a bit more seamless Especially when working with the red iguana hands, it looks more like it's coming right out of the nail bed. So on the cuticle bead, I do that twice. And I just think it looks really good. So another little bead. I'm going to sit it right here. 
I'm gonna push it up a little bit. Swipe the center down and work on my sides again. And then the very top. And see how, how good that looks? Now when that one's dry just a little bit, I'll move on to the ring finger. I don't want to move too quickly because this is not a natural hand again. So there's no body heat to speeding up the or quicken up the, the drying process. So if I move it around too much while it's wet, I might bump, in, bump something and I don't want to do that. A little pack of mine, I like to take some of the acetone and just run it down the nail. And I don't know if this really works, but it feels like it makes the acrylic dry a bit faster. So, yeah, you know what? It might work because sometimes when I'm doing 3D flowers, I use acetone to put in my mix with my monomer. And I'm able to have the acrylic speed up a little bit. So, that might be the reason why this little hack that I've always done works. <laughs> We're working with the practice hands. Acetone makes it dry faster. I think this nail is so, so pretty. I like this one. This one's dry. Let's dry too. So it doesn't take super long for it to dry, but it takes a little bit longer than a natural hand. Maybe about maybe about five minutes. So I will be right back. Now that it has dried a little bit, I'm going to work on the ring finger. And then I'm gonna cap both of these, the ring and the pointer finger. So I'm doing the same thing again. I'm just going to do another full cover of this rice paper color. So I'm just making sure the acrylic fits sidewall to sidewall. And then I'm gonna give it a second to dry up a little bit and then I'll start bringing it down. Then I'm gonna wait a couple of more seconds and start bringing it down some more. And I'm just gonna Go until it pretty much stops because the bead isn't large enough to reach the bottom so once i get to where i feel like i can't really move it much more or i can't really bring the bead down anymore i'm just going to swipe the bottom so everything is still smooth and then that's how i prepare for my next bead So my next bead of acrylic is going to go right where the last bead stopped. And dry it off a little bit and place it about here. Then I'm going to immediately start bringing it upward. It looks like I got a little glitter in there, so I'm going to just take the glitter out. 
bring in the side back up just move everything out then I'm gonna start bringing it down a bit I'm gonna smooth everything out as I go along and give it a couple of seconds to just stiffen up and then I'm gonna bring the rest down to the very bottom The extra product I'm going to place on the side there where it looks like I missed a little bit. And then I'll clean up my sides. And straighten out my tip. Now I am ready to move on to my cuticle bead. When I'm tapping into the acrylic for my cuticle bead, I just use the side of my brush so that it it makes more of a rounder bead and it's easier to work with so I like to push it up once again flatten it out and bring it down right in the center and then I start to work on my sides and try to get everything tucked in And then I work on the very top using the very tip of my brush to push the acrylic up into the cuticle area. And you see how it just blends so smoothly? That's what you want. That is what you want. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again another tiny little bead and dry it off and just repeat the process Just like that. And now the ring finger is all finished as well. Try and move the fingers back <laughs> without hitting it. Now when that finger is dry a little bit, actually I think I might be able to just go ahead and cap this one. Cause I don't think I'll hit it, hopefully not. Now with capping the full cover, color I'm just gonna work with a wet bead dampen the nail just a little bit and I'm gonna go in for a pretty big bead and I'm gonna try to start from the very top pat 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 into the cuticle area and I'm gonna try to work quickly so I don't have the acrylic dry too quickly. As you can see, it's already starting to dry, but it's not too bad. I'm just trying to get it all the way down the nail. Again, I don't want this to be too thick because this is a practice hand and it doesn't need to be very thick. So just like that, 
I just want to do just a little just a little cover so that it's smooth and easy to file but I'm not trying to do too much just like a quick little quick little cap Now I'm gonna move back to the ring finger and do the same. Oh, oh, I hit it just a little bit. That's why I like to allow the product to dry before moving on to the next one, but it's okay. I'm just gonna fill in that little gap with a teeny tiny little bead, dry it off. And then I'm gonna just stick it right there I push it down a little bit hard. Just clean up around the side. And I'm gonna pat, pat, pat the top. Move that product back towards where the dent was. And just pat, pat, pat. And pull it down. Clean up the sides, pat, pat, pat and pull it down. I am going to give this finger a couple seconds to dry and then I will cap it in some clear. Okay, now that this finger has dried a little bit, I'm going to cap it in some clear acrylic and that will be all for the first part of this nail design. Again, I'm going to start all the way at the top. I'm going to work it into the cuticle area first. Bring it in on the sides while I'm bringing it down. Oh. Practice hands are a little bit stiff compared to a real person. So you have to really work with it. <laughs> it's hard to move the fingers where you <laughs> want them to be. But for the most part, it's pretty cool. Push it back up. Just trying to stay within my sides pretty well so I don't have to do too much reshaping. And since that bead didn't make it all the way down, I'm going to start it where it stopped at. We bring it up. And then I'm going to bring it down. It looks like I need a little bit more. That bead was not large enough. So I'm gonna try it off a little bit. Place it right back here. Bring it up. And then bring it down.
is a little bit wonky <laughs> but it's okay okay i'm gonna let that dry and i'll be back when it's time for shaping okay so now i'm gonna go in with the filing and of course because i don't want to ruin this practice hand i'm gonna take each nail out and file it that way if you get excess acrylic around the nail beds what I like to do is use the acetone and it'll pretty much clean it right off. All right, so for the first nail, all I'm trying to do is make the entire surface of the nail white. And that's when I know that everything is even. So I'm gonna start off by shaping the tip. So make sure the tip is straight. So I'm going to look at it from both angles and file it just like that. Then I'm going to go straight down the middle. Just like that. So you see it from the side. The side should be pretty flat. Okay. And then now I'm going to go to the sides. And line it up with the middle. do the same thing to the other side. And this is the same thing that I would do if this were a real person. And that's how I get my tips straight. Now I'm going to go straight up and down. And that's just going to redefine my square shape. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to go underneath the sides. And correct the tip once again. And that's all I would do for a typical reshaping. Once I'm finished doing that, I'm going to use my hand buffer and smooth out the entire surface. And once that's done, the 
set nail is complete. And that's when the client will go and wash their hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing to the rest of the fingers. Okay, my boyfriend is going to work now. So now I can be normal, normal voice, normal tone. Okay, so now I'm just dusting these nails off and I'm going to, instead of spraying them this time, cause I don't feel like doing the whole dry it off and stick the nails back in. I'm just gonna use some alcohol. And I'm gonna wipe the nails down and get ready for design, honey. I forgot to seal the cuticle area, but I don't really think that they really need it. So this time I'm only gonna seal the one that I think needs to be sealed the most. And I might just go over it just a little bit. So I'm gonna take my five in one bit. And I'm gonna use this on a medium to low speed. And get this little finger to act right shove it back up in there and i'm just gonna go around I'm just gonna fix anything that I need that I think needs to be fixed. I'm gonna go over my tips and straighten up the bottom. I don't really feel like I need to do much here, so I'm just gonna go around the side a little bit, straighten up the tip and the bottom, and I'm gonna do that for the rest of these fingers. Oh, child, so stiff. I love that the hand is posable, but again, it's definitely not the same as a real person. Okay, now that that's finished, I'm gonna dust them off once again, and then I will wipe it down once again. And now we are ready for design. Now, usually I go for a white French tip. That's just like my go-to. But this time, I'm gonna go for a gold French tip. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. It's by Beatles and it came with like a whole set of them. If I can grab it. It's like a whole bunch of colors. I'll just link it in the description box below but it came with a bunch of colors. So I'm gonna use the gold one. Put a little bit on my pad. And then I'm gonna go in for my French tip. So for this French tip, I think I want it to stop it about there. So I'm just gonna fill in the whole bottom using the applicator brush just for time's sake. Okay, I'm gonna just do one finger at a time since it's a little difficult to get in between fingers.
Hopefully she's not dead. But I will have to put her on the charger. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm pulling everything apart. Okay, let me turn her on. She's not dead. I'm going to stick her up underneath here. Okay, and then I'm going to find my longest one Stonia brush. Uh, and that would be this one. I'm going to use this brush to do my French tip. So I'm going to stick it into this gel polish and just go at it. I want this French tip to be pretty deep. I love a deep French tip. So I'm going to go all the way up to the cuticle area and fill in the sides. I'm gonna just fill in my sides using the applicator brush. Put a little more on there. Now, I do want to line this side up with this side. So, I'm going to go up to there. And try to make sure that both sides look even. I just like to make sure my French tips look like it's hugging the cuticle area. It's just holding on to it. I love that look. So then I'm gonna bring this line down and I'm going to curve it. I'm gonna curve it inward. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to curve it inward. And then let it meet in the middle. The rest I can just go ahead and fill in. Just like that. This little gold polish... It's really pretty. It's kind of sheer, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna just put a thick, <laughs> just put a thick amount on there because I want it to be pretty opaque. Now, if it's still not to my liking after putting it in the lamp, I will go over it a second time. But for gel polish, you want to make sure the layers are pretty thin to make sure that everything cures properly in the light. So once I think it looks good, I will stick her in. I just want to even up this line just a little bit.
Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just take it off. Look at it from this angle like I would a regular client. And don't look too shabby. But I am gonna fix up this line just a bit. I think that looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna stick this one into the lamp for 30 seconds. Once that finger is out of the lamp, I'm going to repeat the same process over here on the ring finger. Mm, I'm not really sure actually. Excuse me, this is what happens with my freestyles. I always like, I kind of freestyle it in my mind in the beginning. Hold on, let me wipe this off. I always freestyle it in my mind in the beginning and then I always end up changing it. I don't know, I don't know what's up with me. <laughs> That's just how I like to do my freestyles, but it always comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat these two fingers first, the middle finger and the pinky. I'm gonna just drag it. And drag it. Now she's looking like this. This gold doesn't actually match how I thought I would. I mean, how I thought it would. I should have probably top coated these first so I can see how it actually looks. But I'm pretty sure it's still going to come out. So I'm going to stick this one in. Okay, and for this finger, I decided that I'm going to do another Frenchie. Just like that. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna stick that in for another 30 seconds. So I really want to use the airbrush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to recreate this purplish color that's in the nail because I don't actually have a color that exactly matches it so I'm gonna try to make it real quick so I'm gonna take my little pad I decided that I'm not gonna do a second coat on these two fingers because it's not really gonna matter much so I'm gonna just top coat this And I'm just going to stick that into the nail lamp. For 60 seconds. Once that finger is out of the lamp, I'm gonna go into my gel polish. Try to mix it together real good. And I'm going to, actually I think it's a little bit too purple. 
I'm gonna add like a drop of white in there to try to lighten it up a little bit. Like literally just a drop. To see what that looks like. Now it's starting to look more like a light purple. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more pink. So I'm trying to get the undertones right so it kind of looks like the glitter. And it's kind of looking a little bit more, a little bit more like the glitter. And I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna take that and go around my original French tip. And I'm gonna create a new French tip. Just like that. And I want to go all the way up so it still looks like a deep French. Okay. That doesn't look too bad, but it look a little crazy. I don't really know how I'm feeling the color scheme. To be honest, I'm really not sure how I'm feeling the color scheme. It's definitely a bit crazy. I'm just gonna work with it. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna take it off. So from here, I'm gonna go down, draw a little line. Here, draw a little line. Here, draw a little line. And I'm trying to make it look like the icicle design that I did last Christmas. I'm gonna just go down on the sides as well. And bring the middle line down a little further. And right in the middle, I'm just going to draw little U-shapes so that it looks like an icicle.
kind of like that. I'm going to bring down this line a little bit more. And I'm going to just take some clear acrylic. I kind of like, I kind of like how this looks, but I'm still not sure about the color scheme. I would have been happier if the gold matched the gold glitter a little bit more, but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to dump the clear acrylic on top to try to get like a 3D type of thing going on, like a matte look. And I'm just, at this point, since this is a freestyle, I'm just really hoping that I like this when it comes out of the lamp. So that's what it's looking like. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Now that that finger is out of the lamp, I'm just gonna take a manicure brush and dust off the excess clear acrylic powder to see what she's looking like. And she's not looking too bad. I feel like I can work with it. I feel like I can do something with it. So now, now what I'm gonna do, I just wanna clean it off a bit more. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do some I'm going to figure out a little design for the ring finger. Before I get started on the ring finger, I just want to try something really quick and see if I like it. If I don't like it, again, I will just remove it. But I want to see what this nail will look like if I go back and make another... another line for this French tip just to highlight the purple a little bit because I feel like the purple is really light I feel like it's a really light color so I'm going to do the Frenchie again And this time I'm just gonna do a little thin outline to see what is given. Cause I'm not really sure if I like it just like this. That's kind of looking cute. I don't know if you can really tell. Maybe I'll make the line just a little bit thicker. But I think it looks kind of cute up close. So I'm going to darken this line a little bit. So you can see what I'm seeing. I'm starting to think that this is a good idea.
just continuing to outline my French line. And I'm thinking it looked kind of cute. Little some some, you know. Just add a little something something to this look. I just feel like it makes it pop more. I'm a firm believer in if you're not sure if you like something, don't discard it. Try and fix it first and see if you like it. Especially with a freestyle, because more times than not, it's going to come out good the more you add on to it. So I'm just trying to thicken up this line a little bit so it's more noticeable. And then it really gives like an outline type of look. Now I think that this nail is looking rich. Like it's looking, <laughs> it's looking more like a luxury type of design. That's what I think anyways. Comment down below what you're thinking of this. I think it looks pretty good. I definitely like it more now than I did a few moments ago. So I'm happy that I played around with it a little bit. Because now I just feel like, now I feel like it's, it's giving money. <laughs> like it's giving, yeah. I feel like she's giving a little something extra, a little something different, you know? That's what I feel like it's looking like. And then especially if I add some bling bling. Yeah, I like her. I like her a lot more. She's cute. I like that. Okay, we're going to stick her in for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that she is out of the lamp, I have already used a like a um the clear acrylic for the French line. So now I'm going to have to use that same brush to top coat this um gold because if not it's going to be sticky. Because these gel polishes are not a no wipe type of thing. So I'm just going to go over it with some clear gel polish. To get rid of the sticky layer. Yeah. Of course I could have just wiped it, but... <laughs> I don't know, I just... I think this is better, a better option. So I'm gonna cure it for 30 more seconds. Now I have been loving the snowy look for the winter. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I think I'm gonna add some type of snowy design on these nails. I'm not sure which finger I'm gonna do just yet, but I know that I am going to incorporate it. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of white here on my palette. And I'm just gonna, I think I wanna do, 
I think I'm gonna do it on this finger. So I'm gonna go in with some dots. And I'm gonna take the dots all the way up. Okay, now I'm going to use my liner brush again. And I'm gonna add a couple of little stars. Just for the winter theme, you know? So I'm gonna add one right here. And I think, I think I'll add like a little one somewhere down here. And I think that is pretty cute. Just an extra little design. So I'm going to dump a little bit of clear acrylic on that and I'm going to cure it in the lamp. I don't think that I made the lines dark enough on this design finger. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that white and make my lines a bit darker. On my little stars. I might have made it a little too thick. I'm not sure. I think I might just turn them into snowflakes. I think snowflakes would be cuter. Yeah, that's much cuter. I think I like that a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in and dump my clear acrylic back on top. And cure it once some more.
I also decided that I want to do some ho ho ho. This definitely turned into another Christmas nail set, which is cool because I wanted to do the 12 days of Christmas, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do 12 Christmas nail sets. We'll just see. We'll see how everything goes. I think I'm going to add some ho ho ho. Let's see if we can come up with a cute little, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write hose <laughs> instead of ho. Let's see if I can do. What if I write Santa's ho? <laughs> I think that is cute. That's funny. That's so funny and so silly. Let me see. Santa. Maybe I'm going to have to go sideways on this one because I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it. I might not be able to fit it in there. Let's see. And I'm going to put Santa Ho. Santa Ho. Yeah. Someone it might be a little Santa Ho this year. That's what, yeah. That's what we do, Santa Ho. That is cute. I like that. Santa Ho. Okay. Now I'm going to take my clear acrylic, of course, once again. We're going to dump that on top of our Santa Ho design. I'm gonna stick that in the lamp. And I decided to say, forget it. Since I got Santa hole on there, I decided to go ahead and paint a little Santa Claus. So I'm on Google and I'm looking up a little Santa Claus picture. But I think I'm gonna do black Santa. I'm gonna do black Santa Claus. So I'm going to do I want to paint him on this finger or do I want to paint him up here I don't know I don't know I don't know let's see the colors first that one might pop a bit more. Let me see. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll draw Santa right here. Oh, I wish this was live so you could help me decide. Cause I'm not sure where I want to put Santa at. Yeah.
So I'm going to put Santa here and I'm going to make him be dark. I'm going to draw on his face first. I'm going to make his face just a little almond. He has a little almond face. I'm going to draw his face about that size. And I'm going to fill in his face. And I think I'm going to extend his face just a little bit more. I think that's good. And I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Once that's finished, I'm just going to paint on his beard. Looks like there's a black outline. It looks like the top half, this is going to be his hat. So I'm going to paint on his hat. Also, so that's just a little fluffy part. Then I'm going to take his beard and go, uh-oh. I'm going to take his beard and go around. Make it like bubbly and big. I want his beard to be really big. I kind of want to see how it looks. I'm going to fill it in. don't want his beard to look real goofy. I want it to be really big and really poofy. <laughs> that rhymed. I want it to be really big. I'm gonna make it really, really big. Yeah.
just want to clean it up around his face. Just make my line a little bit crispier. I think that's a decent beard. I think it looks pretty cool. A beard is not super, super perfect. So, I'm gonna outline this. Outline this hair. Okay. I'm gonna cure that. Now for his little eyes, I'm gonna add a dot right here and a dot right here. And cure. Oh, my lamp died. <laughs> One moment. Okay, I made a little mess <laughs> for this red gel polish, but it's cool. Now I'm gonna, I'm going to draw on the top of his hat. So I want it to go like up in a little point. So I'm going to just make a little point and make the hat meet the points. And then I'm just going to take my liner brush again and fill in the points. And fill in all of this. Just like so. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to cure that. Okay, once that's cured, I'm going to take my dotting tool again and paint on a big white puff ball. So we're just going to make a big puff ball right at the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of want it to be imperfect. So it looks more realistic. And I'm going to cure that. We're going to add on a little bit of a little bit of, I guess we can do pink or we can do light brown for his cheeks. Mm. Let me see how. how dark pink looks. Uh, let's do like this rosy color for his cheeks. Let's try this. A little dab. Cute. 
give him some little cheeks cheeks yeah some little cheeks cheeks oh i just love this the santa's little hope <laughs> santa's little hope and we're gonna give him a big old round nose Let's get some sculpting gel or hard gel. And I'm going to stick a glob of this where his nose is and try to make it round. Ooh, it's looking nice and round. So I'm gonna hurry up and cure it. Okay, now that my little nose is cured, I'm going to outline everything in black so that it stands out more against the nail and the French tip background. So I'm just trying to get some, some black on my brush and I'm gonna outline his hat first, just like that. And I'm gonna go up and over to outline that part. And I'm gonna take my brush up to the top of his hat and back down on the opposite side. Now I'm going to go around my little poof ball, but not the entire poof ball. I just want to outline the very bottom so that stands out, but it still looks like a poof ball. No need to outline the entire thing. Then I'm going to go around his face on each side. Just like that. Then I'm going to go around his beard. I'm just tilting the hand sideways or the fingers sideways to make sure that everything is right. go around the whole thing until I'm finished just gonna go around slowly to try to make sure everything 
as needed. Now, wherever I went outside the lines a little bit, I'm gonna clean that up with my nail brush. So I'm gonna go back around his nose. And clean that up. Go back in with my liner brush on any parts that I feel like could be a bit neater. Now, again, if I happen to go outside the lines. All I do is use my brush with a little bit of acetone and that does the cleanup portion for me so it's not a big hassle and it's not too serious if I go outside the lines because you can always fix it. Now, I'm just gonna clean it up. And I don't know why his beard is not like, well, on this side is looking a little bit pointy instead of round. So I'm gonna just try to correct that. So it can look, you know, more like a, a normal beard would look. But again, this is a cartoon drawing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to give Santa Claus, you know? I just wanted to look like Santa. So now that I'm finished that, I'm gonna go around my little nose. Just like that. Clean it up. Now I'm going to go around the top of his nose, being careful not to get it anywhere that I don't want it. Now, hopefully that's making it stand out a bit more. It's supposed to make it look like, like the little beard is strapped on. So I'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit around my beard and I kind of like how it looks I kind of like how it looks when it's smudged because it looks like I did a little bit of shading so I'm gonna see if I can do that all the way around the beard I don't know maybe that wasn't a good idea yeah maybe that wasn't <laughs> maybe that was not a good idea so I'm gonna just clean it up, cure it, and then I'll go in with my liner brush to draw some little brush hair strokes to make the beard just pop a little bit more and make it look a little more like real hair. Okay, so we're gonna cure that. Okay, so now that our Santa is out of the lamp, 
this is what he's looking like. Now I'm going to take that same liner brush with a little bit of black on it. And I'm going to just start adding just a little bit of detail. Because I, I just kind of want his beard to look like hair. <sighs> like little hair strokes sticking out. So I'm just going to use the brush and kind of just blend it outward just a little bit. So it looks more like a nat your natural hair. Even though it's just a little beer mask, but I want it to look like it's still like, kind of like hair, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna go just draw random little lines to add some hair like shadowing. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to look kind of like, you know, fuzzy. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the little puff ball. Just to make it stand out a bit. I think that's pretty good, really. Mm, not too much. Just a little, little something. My little Santa is there. My little Santa is there. So I'm gonna stick him in, cure him one last time, and then I'm going to top coat him. I'm just going to take a little bit of gel polish and go over Mr. Santa Claus just like that. Real simple. Simple and cute. Make him shiny and cure him for 60 seconds. Now that I'm all finished with the nail design, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some bling bling. So first, I'm going to start off with this little snowflake. I decided that I think I want to move it over to the ring finger. So I'm gonna stick that charm here. I think I need a little bit more gel. And added a big glob right in the center. And stick the charm right in the center. And I'm going to cure that. Now I'm going to take a couple dots of gel polish. And I'm going to put one, two, three. And that's going to be Santa's buttons. So I'm going to do one. Two. Three. 
Then I'm going to do a slightly smaller one. So I'm going to do three. That one's right there. And I think that looks pretty cute. It's extra. Nothing should be included. Like I remember back then, people would be like, you don't charge by, by design? Like, like for example um this design would like let's pretend they're little like in, you could get any length or como iba? um pipe per length for whatever length algo así me decían i don't fucking remember how to explain it but let's pretend like you you pay a hundred dollars for whatever length and whatever they want like no what the fuck you got me fucked up because they probably want fully bling nails so please don't do shit like that. And if you are, maybe just for a little moment, don't get people used to it because then once you want to charge them regular. Okay, so I took a little food break. I had to go eat. It is five o'clock. <laughs> it is five o'clock in the evening. And I just ate breakfast. Like, I made bacon and eggs. And I put it on toast and made a sandwich with some jelly. Because <laughs> I was hungry. Your girl was ready to eat. So, now I am back and I am going to continue this nail design. So we left off where it was time to add some more bling bling. As I was sitting down into my chair, I knocked all my rhinestones like all over the place. Like I just like banged the desk and the rhinestones were just flying out, falling in my lap and everything. Girl, so now they all mixed up. They all jumbled up. But it is what it is. I'm just going to still work with what I got. Because that's all you can do, you know. So. Ooh, I'm touching my gel. Don't want to do that. So I need to keep my little hands away. And now I'm just going to do a little bling freestyle. I want to start getting into doing like big bling blings because I really like bling bling. But I don't really know where to find good big bling bling from. So, um, right now I'm just working with the little rhinestone boxes, rhinestone kits. But I'm definitely going to be looking into finding me some some extra fancy type of bling bling. So I'm just gonna go in and randomly place rhinestones where I want them to give it like a cute little look. I think I want this to go all the way at the top. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna just place them and then push them into place. That's all I'm doing right now. I think I want another circle one right about there. And then another little small one. Like that. right up in there 
Then I'm gonna take some bigger ones and place them on the sides. Something like that. Now I'm gonna take some gel polish and fill in around the sides up here. And I'm just freestyling. This is not in any particular order or anything. I'm just doing stuff. I'm just laying them down and making them look how I want them. Nothing special. Just picking them and placing them until I feel like it looks good. And that's really my method for applying bling to nails. I don't, I don't be knowing what I wanna do. I just be doing stuff. Cause I be extra. And I'm just going to continue to work my way down. Got a little hair that's bothering me. Okay. I think I like that, something like that. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just gonna make sure everything stays in place. She is cute. So I'm going to stick her in the lamp. Just making sure everything is even first.
Now I'm gonna add this big old Well, it's actually not even that big but it's like some little bells and I thought that was cute so it can just add on to the Christmas theme that we have going on and I'm gonna cure that I'm gonna look at the nails and look at how bougie like, look at how fancy these are. These are so freaking fancy. And I think my favorite part of this nail set so far is the Santa's hoe. <laughs> that is my favorite part of this nail look. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to add anything extra. I think these nails are already looking pretty darn extra so i think i'm gonna stop there yeah i think i'm gonna stop there so i'm just gonna clean up and get ready for some photos if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my uploads i'll see you guys in the next one bye That's fine for you I do that three, but times again I testify for you I thought I liked you that bitch